welcome to Inside BBC Boxing, your one-stop shop for all things Premier Boxing Champions. I'm Kate Abdo alongside WBC welterweight champ Sean Porter and looking to become a four-division champion on February the 9th, Abner Mahrez. Uh, Abner, one month, one month and one day now, isn't it? Yeah. Away from uh, your showdown with Javonta Davis. How are you feeling? You in good shape? I'm feeling check? great. <laughs> I'm feeling yeah? really good, motivated. Um, you know, I just got back from the gym not too long ago and um, just looking forward to this fight. I mean, it's a fight where a lot... A lot is in stake, you know. Uh, it's a fight where I'm going to become a four-time world champion in the fourth division. And um, it's just one of those fights that's going to mark my legacy. Uh, you top him in terms of experience. What are your other strengths over Javante Davis? Um, there's a lot. I mean, obviously, um, I feel that... Um, the, we touched the experience, but I feel that, you know, people are underestimating my power. Mm -hmm. um, I know I'm moving up on weight, but, um, you know, I carry power. Um, I, I got great conditioning. I'm a bowling puncher. And, um, you know, this guy's never been in there with, with someone, you know, as experienced as, and as, as, you could say, as good as me, period. What's the number one thing you're going to be aware of in this fight? Um, the only thing that pops up is obviously his, uh, his angles and his power. That's the, that's the thing about uh, this kid. He's, he, he's from D.C. He's just rough and rugged, but mm -hmm. he's, he, he brings that, that finesse to it as mm -hmm. well. I think, I mean, we've spoken about it just a little bit, but I do think this is a really tough fight for you. Mm -hmm. A fight that you can win. In my mind, you, you win this fight on your experience, on being a ring general, making them miss, frustrating them, and, uh, you know, hitting them to the punch, you know, beating them to the punch. I don't think it's an a, a easy fight for him or you, but I think that this is definitely one of those fights where you got to be close to perfect in order to pull this one out. I mean, you didn't just pick a guy with a belt. You picked the guy that many consider to be the guy at, at 130. Why Javonta Davis? Why Look, did that matter to you? I'm not only picking the guy with the belt. I'm picking the guy, the different, higher division than me, uh, with the best name and, and pedigree. I mean, the guy's, you know, he's got it all. Power, he's got uh, uh, great boxing skills, uh, he's young. And I just, I'm trying to prove uh, something. And, and talent, you know, yes, is one thing. The kid's talented, but sometimes hard work you know, beats talent any day. And I think that's, that's me. That's the I'm good a hard part worker. about boxing. That's, you know, that's a, what boxing yeah, is. Yeah, I'm a hard worker. I know the guy is talking about a, a, a concentrated, you know, a tank is a, you know, unbeatable tank, but he hasn't faced anyone like me. And I'm right. comfortable to say that, you know, this fight, yeah, it's going to be tough one, but it's not, you know, a, a fight where I'm going in there mentally, you know, defeated and whatsoever at all. No one can bring me down. I know, I know what I'm capable of doing. And that's the thing about boxing. I was just about to say that Abner, you can hear right now, he's got some of the things, some of the attributes that you need in boxing, those things that you can't see, the mental fortitude, the mental preparation, um, the heart and the mindset that I'm gonna win. You I'm can't train the heart, wrong. bud. You can't train the heart, mm -hmm. man. Hey, appreciate that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're massively looking forward to that fight, Abner. Uh, you weren't the only one in the news this week either. Keith Thurman and uh, Josecito Lopez had a press conference for their bout, which is on January 26th. And guess what? Sean Porter's name came up. Take a listen. I didn't see it. Recently, I heard Sean Porter making a statement that it's unfair that I'm the mandatory. It's unfair that you call yourself champion without beating me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to hear that. We, we got, uh, I got business, and it doesn't matter who has that belt. I told Sean Porter in Fox Studios, don't lose, because you'll get a rematch with Danny. You know what I'm saying? You can get that Danny rematch, you lose. I'm going after my belt. I'm going after Ugas. I want my belt. Go on, Sean. Why, why, is, he, why is he talking about Ugas? Does he, does he want to fight me? Or does he want to fight for the belt? Why is he even talking about Ugas? If you, you, you know who I am and you know what I do, you know I'm not going to lose to this guy, you're getting this Ugas, and you know I'm going to be fighting you. Why are you talking about anything other than fighting me? Mm -hmm. You know? Where, where, where's your heart at, Keith? Outside of trying to be cute and say some, some pretty things in front of a bunch of people, where's your heart at? You want that fight? Of course I do. <laughs> Need that fight. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.